So today I'd like to show you how I glaze this larger bowl, salad bowl. Uh, it's hard to uh, get it even when you are making, you are glazing your larger bowl because you have to uh, scoop the uh, glaze little by little and uh, once you fill it up, the bottom is getting uh, too much glaze and too thick. So uh, I have a way to show you how to uh, glaze more evenly. Uh, that is the uh, technique I learned from uh, my co-author. Uh, his, his name is Danny, and uh, I'm going to show you how to do that, okay? So first, you want to get a uh, plastic bag, and uh, you want to use the scissor to uh, cut it open so it's open all the way, okay? And then, um, you are going to uh, put the uh, plastic bag over to cover it. The plastic bag, plastic bag has to be uh, wide enough, okay, to, co to cover your room. And then uh, you're going to put this inside. Okay. And the, uh, the other end of uh, the plastic bag, you could uh, kind of uh, twist it. So you are going to pull the glaze little by little uh, without uh, contact with your, uh, your wall yet until you feel it all the way here, and then you pull, you remove the uh, plastic bag. So this open, you just hold it from outside and then just pull it up, okay? So all the glaze is running down all the way to your, your bowl, inside of the bowl, all at once. And then uh, you could uh, pull it out, okay? That's the, uh, the uh, technique that I learned. Okay, from uh, my co-worker. So, let's do it. Cover it all the way. And then, uh, get this part here. Um, for me to uh, easier to hold it in position, I have a uh, wooden uh, stick. Wooden stick. I uh, cut a hole here, so I'm going to insert the, uh, the other end into the hole. Pull it out. Sure. So this is just to hold it the uh, in position when you don't have anybody to help you. So the uh, the bar is holding this end of the uh, plastic bag, and then uh, I could uh, take my time to pour in the glaze. And once I'm done. Just remove it and then pull it out from the outside and pull it and lift the uh, plastic bag. Okay, so let's pull in the glaze. Right, so that's the uh, glaze that it filled in almost all the way, about 95% uh, of the, the level. And now I'm going to uh, pull out my stick and then slowly pull out the uh, plastic from the edge. And then I let go of uh, my middle part here so that the glaze is going to go uh, pour. Right, and then just take my time and pour into the container. Okay, 
So you don't have uh, too much glaze deposit, especially underneath in the center. Okay, so that's the uh, technique that uh, is very useful. Okay, and then just wipe it up. Um, since this bowl is very big, so uh, I won't be able to dip it in. Uh, my bucket is not wide enough, so I will just pull my glaze. I'm going to pour a little bit of uh, glaze underneath here. So using the uh, bubble syringe, uh, you don't need to pour a lot of uh, glaze. And, uh, you don't need to pour it out either. And then uh, I'm going to brush again the under glazes, the orange one and the red one on my uh, scofilo part um, for getting a little bit of a shiny i add a little bit tiny little bit of the glaze into the uh, on the glazes when you want to use the uh, thicker brush that you can absorb uh, a lot of juice Um, for how to make the larger bowl on the, the Scofilo, Chattering and Scofilo, I believe this one I was uh, demoed on my video number 500. I remember the video number 500. I'm planning to uh, pour the glaze. So I want to have a very clean line, so I would use the uh, wax resist to cover it, okay. So this is the plain wax resist. Alright, so that should be enough, and then I will wait the uh, wax and also weigh the wall, try a little bit further and then I will show you how to pour the glaze. Alright, so already set up. Uh, so this piece of the bowl is on the pan. So when I pour, hopefully the uh, glaze is going to go in there. And I will show you my setup after I finish pouring. Right, so you can see that uh, when I brush the wax resist, now it's uh, I have a nicer clean night there. Okay, so there's a little bit of uh, the glaze that is not uh, contact with. I will put it back on the wheel and then uh, drip over. So here's my setup. I put a sponge there so to get some cushion and then this is the uh, spinning wheel the hand wheel i uh, kind of raise it up okay and then um, just a little bit of uh, uh, pvc pipe so it's easy to clean and then uh, just pull it back so that's my setup 
and uh, just patch it up using using the uh, bubble syringe. All right, so that should be fine. And uh, the rib is a little bit rough. That's okay. Uh, once the uh, glaze fuse, it will smooth it out. So uh, I don't worry about too much for the glaze being uh, too rough on the uh, on the rim. So this one is ready to go to the kiln, and I will show you the result. All right. So I promise you to show you the result so here is the uh, salad bowl a large salad bowl uh, i glaze it and this is the uh, result black slip here chattering and the uh, scofito carving and i wax I use wax resistant and pour the glaze. The bottom is a black slip too, so the glaze over it turned blue. And I told you that the rim is a little bit rough, but now after fire is very smooth. All the glaze fused down on the rim. And inside is very uh, smooth and nice. Not too much glaze deposit in the center. And actually this piece on the thinner part, it's kind of translucent because uh, there's a little uh, drill bit uh, decoration here. And uh, if you see the uh, lights, the, the, thike, the light the light come through that the little hole here. I could uh, do a demo in the nighttime, maybe uh, put the flashlight inside and uh, turn it dark and you will see the light coming through from the, the little holes. Right, so hope this demonstration help. Anything when you want to throw, uh, you know, place the larger balls. Use the same method I just showed you.